Hi everyone, my name is Mia and I'm a data engineer from Zewis. In this lesson, I will be going over the Melvis benchmark test. This lesson can be divided into the following three parts. The first part is to introduce the dataset and the pre-processing that needs to be done. The second part is the script to set up the test. And the third part is running the actual test. We will begin by giving over the dataset and the pre-processing. For this test, we will be using an ANSIFT1 billing, which contains four files. This set, it is a dataset of 1,128-dimensional vectors. The learning set, it is a set with the specific parameters. The query set is a set of 10,128-dimensional query vectors. And the ground truth, it contains 1,000 most similar vectors for each query in the query vectors. The vector data supported by Milvis is a float two-dimensional array. So we need to convert the feature vector to a two-dimensional array. The base set data format in NNCFD 1 billion is BVEX. So we need to change them to two-dimensional array supported by Milvis by the following Python code. The first step is to use npmapmap method for memory mapping because our base set has a size of 22 gigabytes. And this method can divide a large file into smaller segments for reading and writing, instead of reading the whole array into memory at once. The second step is that taking first four bits of x as the vector dimension and convert data type into int32 type. The third step is to use the numpy reshape method to change the format of the array. The last step is to convert the integer data to flow data. We offer preprocessed the data as numpy files, which is numpy files storing 100,000 vectors. Just follow the link in the slide and get access to the files. We need to download benchmark tests from our bootcamp project. And I will introduce some scripts that you will need to use during the test. As you can see, our command of scripts are very easy to understand. Like if you want to create an index, you just need to specify the collection and the index tab and then add build. Or if you want to test the, the recall rate, you also need to specify collection and search param and then add recall parameter. Other commands are all the same, it's very concise to understand. And then we can begin to test. First, in order to help you compare the benchmark test results between yours and ours, our machine's hardware configuration are as followed. We also need to know some config parameters of Melvis for the test based on our machine. The parameters can be found in the server config YAML, which we have introduced in the before lesson. The first one, cache size. It is the size of memory cache for indexes and searching. And GPU cache size is the size of GPU memory cache. GPU search threshold is a threshold for the amount of queries required to activate solo GPU searching. And search devices are GPU devices used for searching. Build index services are devices are GPU devices used for indexing. We can actually get a borrowing. First, we need to go to the GitHub and put the source code of our bootcamp. For installing Milvis, we could refer to the official website. And the next step is to install PyMilvis. For this example, we use version 1.01. And after this, specify your data path. Ours are as followed. Because we are using SIFT 10 million in this test, so the query data we store under the query data. And for our ground truth and the data to be imported, we store them under the SIFT 10 million. Next, we need to go into config py file to modify some parameters. Uh, the script parameters are briefly described according to the slide on the left. First, we need to go into config py. And in this file, we first need to put the correct IP address and port of Melvis. And then the next value that we need to change is 
base file path. That is the path of data to be imported. And for the query data, we need to change the query file path and the recall query file to the folder containing the vectors to be queried. And lastly, we need to change the ground truth file to our ground truth 10 million txt. Besides, if you want to change other parameters, just modify their default values. Next, we can follow the steps in the slide to perform the benchmark test. First, let's create a collection named AN10MSQ8 with dimension 128. Create a collection successfully. Then let's build the index. Because there are no vectors in the collection, so the speed to create an index is really fast. Next, let's load the sift 10 million data to this collection. This will take some time.
Okay, it's completed. And in order to check if everything was successful, we can run the this command. We should give a result equivalent to the amount of vector inserted. After all above steps are completed, we can conduct an accuracy test and performance test. Accuracy test, the average accuracy equals to the number of vectors whose Melvis prior results agree with ground truth, and divided by the number of vectors in query course multiplied by top k. For the performance test, the average time for a single vector query equals to total time for Melvis batch queries divided by number of vectors in query course. And here search param represents the unprop value. Unprop value affects the accuracy of the query results and query performance. The larger the unprop, the higher the accuracy and the worse the performance. To perform an accuracy test. After executing the above commands, you guys can see a txt file generated in the record result folder. This file records the ID and distance of each of the 500 vectors corresponding to the top k. Let's see them. Okay, now you can see the serial number in the first column indicates the vector of the query and every 200 rows in the TXC file is a group corresponding to the query result of a query. And at the same time, several CSV will be generated under the recall compare of file. Let's take the first CSV file as an example. The CSV records the accuracy of each 500 and total average accuracy of the query when top k equals to 100. If you want to refer to official test results, visit our bootcamp on GitHub and please know that when Melvis starts, it takes some time to load the data into memory for the first vector retrieval. So when testing performance, try to run the test script continuously and the second runtime should be taken.